Hi friends, Ms. Freivogel here. Today you will need a pencil and a notebook or a piece of paper. We are going to be learning about similes. So similes use the word like or as to compare two different things. Let's look at an example. She was as quiet as a mouse. Our sentence is comparing she, which is a girl, to a mouse, right? Those are two different things. And it uses the word as to compare them. Let's look at some more examples. As big as an elephant. So if I'm saying that the building was as big as an elephant, I don't mean the building turned into an elephant, right? I just mean it's big like an elephant. I'm just comparing them. As quick as lightning. If I say my dog is as quick as lightning, it doesn't mean my dog turned into lightning. It's just saying that it is quick like lightning or comparing it to lightning. As slow as a tortoise. If you're in the hallway and someone is walking as slow as a tortoise, it doesn't mean they just turned into a tortoise. It just means that they are slow like a tortoise. To eat like a pig, if you've ever seen a pig eat, they can get food all over their face. They eat very quickly, they're very messy. If I say my little brother eats like a pig, I just mean that they eat he eats very messy. To eat like a bird, birds tend to peck at their food. It takes them sometimes a long time to eat. So if you eat like a bird, it just means you kind of pick around at your food. Maybe you don't really like a lot of food. And then I'm sure you've heard this one to fight like cats and dogs. Some people think that cats and dogs don't get along and sometimes they tend to fight. So if you say that you and your classmates fight like cats and dogs, it just means that you argue or you bicker a lot. For our activity today, I'd like you to number your paper one through 13. Go ahead and pause if you need to. We are going to start by matching similes with their meaning. The similes are on our left and the meanings are on our right. Number one, we have smart as a fox. I'm going to look on the other side for my meanings. If something is as smart as a fox, I know that it means to be very smart, right? Foxes are smart animals. You can write that next to number one. Number two, quick as a cat, means to be quick. Can write that next to number two. Tough as nails. Nails are very strong. I'm going to match that with to be very strong. Number four, cry like a baby. If you have any younger siblings or younger cousins, you know that they cry a lot as babies. So for four, we're going to match to cry like a baby. And five, run like the wind means to run fast. If you need to pause and get those copied down, please do so. For number six and seven, we are going to write the meanings of the similes below. I'm gonna have you do these on your own and we'll go after them. Review them once you have finished. Number six is as busy as a bee. So write down what you think that simile means. And number seven means to fight like cats and dogs, which was one of our examples. Go ahead and pause the video and click play when you're ready to review. All right, for number six, to be busy as a bee just means to be very busy. Bees always fly around and they're always moving and that's what it means to be as busy as a bee. Number seven, to fight like cats and dogs, we said means to argue or to fight a lot. So as long as you had something similar to that, you are good. And if you didn't have that, go ahead and get that copy down so you have it. For number eight, nine, and 10, we're gonna walk through and see um, if these sentences are similes or not. Number eight, they were as loud as monkeys. Is that a simile, yes or no? Go ahead and say it out loud and write it down for number eight. You should have said yes, it is a simile. 
right? Because they use the word like or as to compare they with monkeys. Number nine, life is a box of chocolates. Out loud and on your paper, put yes or no if that is a simile or not. You should have said no because they are not using like or as to compare life to chocolates. A number 10, he is a shining star. Yes or no for number 10. Go ahead and say it out loud and write it down. And you should have had no because we're not using like or as to compare he and star. The last thing you're going to do for today is to create three of your own similes. I have number 11 as an example, but I'd still like you to write your own as well. Number 11, the cloud was fluffy like, I chose cotton candy, right? Clouds and cotton candy are not the same thing. And I'm comparing them because they're both fluffy. So for number 11, think of something that the cloud could be fluffy like. Number 12, the blank was as red as a tomato. Think of something that you could compare to a tomato that isn't a tomato, but could still be red. And for number 13, blank is as sweet as candy. Think of maybe a person or a thing to compare to candy being very sweet. All right, when, make sure you write the full sentence for 11, 12, and 13. And have a great day. I will see you soon.